And now, for part 2 of our adventures through the year 2064. Will we find our good friend today? Let's find out. Neo San Francisco, 2064 AD. The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow for repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain-to-machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less hey every day. However, some can't keep up with the fast-paced changes around them. They say that ROMs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core, they are only brainless machines. Organizations, like the human revolution, seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. And with this, humanity's destiny will be altered forever. And with this, I welcome you back to my second stream to 2064 read-only memories let's continue where we left off a week ago this time even recording a vod but i will later be uploading to youtube let's go all right i have i think forgotten pretty much everything that happened since last time uh, since we started i think we ended up in a hospital where we met a, an old colleague of the friend that's gone missing that we're looking for So let's try to get back into it. Dr. Fairlight. He had a very, very soothing voice. I want to talk to him again. Please, don't let me delay you any further. And remember, talk to my man Decker downstairs. Alright, that we shall. How the fuck do I go downstairs? Alright, I think I had to talk Should with Turing. to have you discharged? Yes, please. What the hell is oh, you? good. <laughs> um, now listen, Lexi. I know what we did may seem like fraud, impersonation of a police officer, faking ideas, uh, IDs and personal data, breaking and entering. And that is, that may seem not so good, but Actually, I think you should be forgiving I me. As a, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The exact same shit you were years ago, but this time it's truly unreal. Yes, I'm sorry. Do you even realize how bad impersonating a police officer is? No, I it's don't. It's a felony, jackass. I'm sorry. I should be slapping cuffs on you and dragging your sorry ass off right now. Please don't do that. Detective Rivers, wait. I'm sorry. The plan to lift your credentials and use them to access Hayden's apartment was entirely mine. Herring, you're just incriminating yourself. That won't actually help the situation. If you're the one charged with a felony, that will still be a problem. Also, I feel it necessary to mention that though you are understandably upset, such language and imagery is beneath you as a respected officer of the law. Oh great, the robot did it, huh? 
I guess I'll just take you to jail then instead. Is that what you want? <laughs> no, please do Don't not. Don't even try to take all the blame. I know that a certain someone lent you a helping hand. Oh yeah? It isn't like you have the hardware to pull that off alone, little bot. Oh yeah? Well, to be honest... I think he does, actually. Detective Rivers, I think I'll tell you the whole truth. Since my friend here trusts you. Maybe we shouldn't be doing that out in the open in a hospital waiting room with hundreds of other people also being here. Keep it under your hat though, metaphorically. I am no ordinary ROM, but actually a prototype designed to be the first fully sapient machine. Is that a hat? I suspect creating me is the main factor behind Hayden's disappearance, beyond his day-to-day -day research for Parallax. My name is Turing. Whew. Okay. I thought that's a hair. Hi, Turing. And I'm confused. Well, that is a damn bigger problem than you first let on, huh, old pal? The first machine sapient. People are gonna have things to say about that. Especially the human revolution. Ugh. This is exactly what I wanted to avoid. Right. You sure know how to get yourself dropped in the drink. Yep. What the hell am I supposed to do with the two of you? Help us commit felonies together. Maybe. <laughs> Guess I'm letting you off the hook. Well, that was easy. This time, and only because this time I can let you get away with it safely. I doubt anyone will notice your manipulation of that NSFPD ROM, nor that I was apparently in two places at once. But mostly because I think you're right. Oh, someone she's blushing again. The department is trying to delay any search into Hayden's disappearance. Here's the story. Apparently, the investigations you ran into this morning were about the lock on the apartment door being reported broken by a neighbor. Mm -hmm. The building couldn't reach Hayden, so they went ahead and got it fixed on their own, but the NSFPD sent a bot to check things out and guard the place for a while afterward, right? Standard procedure, treating it as a break-in. Have someone there for when Hayden shows up. Obviously, you and I know there's a bigger story. But when I filled out the missing person report, I was informed in no uncertain terms that I am to wait an entire 48 hours before I can upgrade the existing case. Why? Just on the off chance the door being busted and Hayden being missing are unrelated and my search screws something up for the completion of the break-in report. Hmm. As if. There's a problem if you're so by the book you're getting paper cuts. And that was before all of this happened. The chief's not happy about whoever took the bot out. That's who they're after now. They won't even care if Hayden never shows. Today's assault and the vandalization of our apartment will only make the entire situation more confusing and sensitive for the police. There's too many yeah. moving parts to piece anything together, and it's not fun trying to argue with the bureaucrats that one thing happened over another. These little incidents of smashing shit and spray paint sound more like Froyo Stand 2.0 to them than a serious abduction. And I suppose I won't be very useful as a witness to the kidnapping without explaining the makeup of my being to the entire department, which will only scandalize things further. Darn it all. Look, it's not being squashed completely, so I don't think anyone's been bought. But until there's undeniable proof Hayden was taken by force, they're gonna care more about the poor doorknob and some paint on the walls than him. Which means somebody definitely has some influence. Enough to buy themselves time by forcing me to follow per- Not that I will, but I'm gonna have to keep things quiet. It sounds like it's going to be up to us. Yeah, so stop messing around. Okay, I'll stop messing There's around. certainly a story here, but if you keep botching your moves, you'll blow it. I'd really rather you not be involved at all. But I know that isn't going to happen at this point. I've got a bad mm -hmm. feeling people are going to end up dead over this. I don't want you to be one of them, buddy. She's blushing again. And I really don't want to be the one making that call to your sister. Please. Yeah, uh... I'll be more careful, I promise. Yeah, yeah. I know. Just... here. <gasps> I'm getting a gun! 
Let's go! Okay, Use it if you have to. It's not. This is a medium range electro laser pistol. Electro laser. It uses a low power laser uh -huh. to create a channel of ionized gas to complete a circuit between the gun and the target, then discharges a considerable amount of current into the air. Think of it as a wireless taser of the older variety. This is a more suitable personal defense weapon, and it is legal to carry in Neo SF without. The neural scrambler we were attacked with uses a powerful electromagnetic field that's far more dangerous and prone to be permanently damaging to the target. You got lucky. I told you to get a weapon, but you didn't, so I picked it up on the way here. Be Thanks. Please. Hope I won't need it. I'll be in touch if I find anything out, but don't hold your breath. My superiors are going to keep leaning on me to do nothing. Okay. Back to the grind, I guess. See you. Stay safe. Yeah, you too. Thank you for your time, Detective Rivers. Whoa. You should talk to the receptionist and formally check out before we go anywhere. We That's probably a good idea. For Dr. Fairlight's assistant, Mr. Decker. He should be somewhere around. <laughs> Now, if that isn't a man that looks like a 40 plus old hard boiled and slightly alcoholic detective. Hello, the name's Leon Decker. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you Fairlight too. Fairlight messaged ahead that I needed to pass one of his cards on to you. Here. Thank you very much. Thanks for taking your time with him. He really gets in one of his moods when the chair is getting fixed. The last gala he organized was full of unsavory types. He's probably happy to help folks whose pockets aren't deeper than their thoughts. Hmm. And if I ask you a few questions, yeah, boss said you'd have a few for me. I'm not really supposed to answer anything too private, but <laughs> take your best shot. What kind of work do you do for Dr. Fairlight? Oh, uh, mostly gopher work, to be honest. What? Started when I was just out of the military. I was looking for a gig from someone who wouldn't care that I was an army rat. North Korea made that hard. The old man pays me to guard his life, run a few errands for him, and play substitute army candy at most of the charity galas. Gopher? The hell is a gopher? Ah, like an, an odd jobber, someone that just does literally everything. I see. Not terribly exciting, but I've already Surely had not. enough excitement to last me another 30 years. What's your story? Probably not as exciting as you hope. You just mentioned both of uh, um, year lasting war and North Korea. That sounds Montana, very exciting. On a family farm. I didn't have my pa's farm hands, so I joined the military as soon as I could. Like my grandpaps. Mm -hmm. Came home looking to do something a whole lot quieter for the rest of my life. I didn't know at the time how boring quiet could be. <laughs> but hey, I'll take it over getting shot at. <laughs> you say that as if I didn't just am just as you say that as if I'm not in this hospital because I got shot at. Why do you think Fairlight is helping us? You think sitting in that chair all day is very entertaining? I don't know. You know. The old man's talked to me about the things he used to do in his glory days. I'm sure he told you about when he was the head of some big companies. Yeah, yeah, he did. He was cold, ambitious, and took down anyone with half a mind to get in his way. I think once he aged, he realized how lonely that kind of life can be. Helping people is the only way he can feel like he's still doing something. But hey, <laughs> what do I know? I just spend all my time with him. Okay, thank you, Leon. No problem. I'll be around if you know where to look. Uh, you have a good day. Okay. Now. Yeah, you too. And he's gone. A look, little cleaning room. It's made for conversation, it just warbles at you. Hello, yeah, who is a good little king? Yeah, who is a good little king? Sitting around no and waiting in a hospital is no one's favorite pastime. That's probably true. Patient? 
Hello. My records indicate that you have been admitted for possible cranial trauma. Yeah, I would like to go home. In your assigned bed resting. Yeah, I would like to go home. While I am truly delighted to see that you have regained consciousness, I must insist that you return to your room to be examined. Uh, yeah, you know, it's no need. I actually just kind of zap myself with my own stunner. I, discharge of a is a serious event. You know, I, I just I wanted to. No, I mean, I, I just I just wanted to try it out. You know, to give me a good. Um, Even non-lethal stunners can leave much lasting neurological damage. Uh, uh, I, um, I insist well. like it's it's okay. I I'm law from detaining you here against your will, patient. But you should note in your release paperwork that willful early termination of medical services releases this hospital and its parent company ZHC from legal liability should your condition persist or worsen outside of our care. Additionally, all tests and medical data from your visit will be shared with our standard partners to help improve our services and offerings and to keep the price affordable. I am further required to inform you that this visit has expended the last of your year's governmentally mandated healthcare credits. Uh, that's not good. Uh, thank you. Lastly, you will be required to provide payment or proof of private insurance for any further visits for routine or emergency medical care. Please take care to fill out all forms thoroughly and accurately. And do have a nice day. Yeah, you Your too. medical billing makes me glad I'm synthetic. <laughs> and it makes me glad that I'm European. You should look for more paying journalism work before you get shot again. Well, a try. Leave. Why not head back home? I'm sure you'd like the chance to shower. For such a clean place, it sure seems to have left you feeling... I guess he... Physically, mentally, and journalistically refreshed. You look good. Thanks. If you're feeling up for it, we should go find Tom. They should still be waiting for us at Stardust. Oh, by the way, while you were showering, I was able to replant your Crassula ovata. Don't forget to talk to it and give it some love. When I try talking to it, it... Either way, our next move... My cute little plant... Let us suffer in peace. No, 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 it's okay now. <laughs> You're such a cute little plant. Wilty, yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> we'll surely be on the way to lush greenery in no time. Who's a good plant? <laughs> This action will have consequences. Probably. <laughs> Lappy still dead? Up, he's still dead. How's my my little blob doing? Still blobbing around. All right. Well, I guess that means we we gotta go, eh? Ready to head out? Yeah, let's just go. Ah, wait. I can I can go visit her. You. Welcome to the Neo San Francisco Richmond. Yeah, How may yeah, I be yeah. of assistance today? Could you uh, give me Rivers? Please give me a few moments to get in. Thank you for your patience. Detective Rivers will be here shortly. Hey again. What can I do? You know, since I don't have anything else on my plate in a major city full of crime in the middle of a culture war. <laughs> Just wanted to Mostly see how you're doing. A break in the case, or a way to even start it. Something yeah, I can yeah. use instead of the fly-by-night spy crap you're probably digging up. But screw it. You might as well work it from both ends. Just teasing. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to, like, catch up a bit. I you for wasting my time, but frankly, I needed a break anyway. Other than being overworked and underpaid, I'm doing just fine. It's been a while since we've just hung out, so what do you want to know? Uh, have you been seeing anyone since my sister? Mm. <laughs> I'm real busy, you know, running around chasing bad guys. This is yeah, yeah. Problem. The detective doesn't always get the girl in real life, you know. Wait a minute. Did my stream just reset? Wait a minute.
why is my my stream is losing connection every 20 to 15 minutes why is that happening wait a minute Okay, that seems weird. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see it and try to keep a lookout on it. <clears throat> anyway, I'd rather focus on my work. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, you ever talk to your sister, by the way? From time to time, yeah. I mean, you you should call her, I think. Yeah. Call yeah. Her, I think. Maybe I should. Ah, I'm just realizing something. I'm probably much louder than the game amount. Why did you transfer to the new SFD, SFPD? Ah, hell. I don't know if you remember that incident back home. The hybrid ex-marine that was murdering people. Well, I couldn't tell you back then, but that was my case. I kind of threw myself into it too hard. Made it too personal. Broke too many rules. Oh, the no. chief had my back, but... I felt I'd burned too many bridges. It's a small city, and once the rumor mill got going, well, I was afraid I'd either be made out to be a hero or a villain, and I didn't really want to be either. Never mind the fact that people already didn't like me too much because of my implants. Some people really buy into that eyes are the window to the soul thing. Mm-hmm. I know that feeling. I also used to live in a very, very small rural village for some years, and... It was already enough to just have long hair to be considered a weird or the that that one guy with the long hairs that everyone would talk about and make rumors about i imagine looking like a, a budget ushia with sh brightly glowing shading guns is all of a much worse so effect i figured i'd move to the big city where the big crimes are right lose myself in the hustle and bustle Turns out mm. I'm still a bit too much of a cowboy for the NSFPD, but I don't regret the move. Most of the time. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for keeping tabs on me. We'll have to sit down for coffee after this is all over. Yeah, we definitely have to. Thanks for talking with me, Lexi. Be sure to come back if you find something I... I will, I will. All right, now let's actually continue with the main quest. Stardust Club. We... Welcome to start. Yeah, yeah, welcome. Hi, hi. Ooh, who's this sweet guy? Sweet guy. It's the other bartender for Sardos. He's a big, beerish type with a hairy chest and an oafish laugh. Hey, you. Sorry, I don't think we've met before. I'm Gus. Hello, Gus. You have a really cool romp. How's Stardust treating you? Now that you're here, a lot better. That's good, but we can do better than not bad. Let me know how we can help. Well, you, sweetie boy, could help me if you Majid tell me. may not have a memory for mixed <laughs> drinks, but he loves listening to his patrons. You'll have to let me or him know if you need any help. We try to... Are you mind telling me a bit oh, about yourself? there isn't much to tell, really. I came to Neo SF from Arizona to finally live somewhere more thrilling. Mm -hmm. Majid needed someone good with numbers to handle back of the house sort of stuff. So here I, I didn't grow up in big cities like this. Ooh, numbers are and I always smart love too. listening to Majid's stories from the bay. Everything is just so exciting. You don't happen to know anything about Hayden Weber? Hayden? Oh, you're who Majid mentioned before, huh? Oh yeah? Hopefully, he only said very good things about me. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. I've met him since he's a regular, but I've been out and about on business. I haven't seen him in weeks. I wish I could help more. Mm hmm. In okay, that case, I'll let you know if you need anything aside Don't from your number, sweetie. You interrupt me for something. Thanks, Gus. Sure thing. Enjoy the bar. amount of liquid left in their glass suggests the person was drinking the groggy nog. Have any 
I seen you at my tattoo parlor before? I have to do this, maybe. I don't know. A VIP Panzer. Loose skin and a lot of bulk. A hybrid. VIP's kind of full right now. Wait a bit. Alright. Well, Tom Kent, how are you? Hey y'all. How goes the search? Very badly. Shit. Well, I can't say I saw that one coming. I figured that they'd nab anything they needed the first time they hit the place. Huh. Any ideas who it could have been? The walls had been spray painted with many grotesque human revolution slogans. It is possible that Hayden was targeted by the organization for his work at Parallax. While my development may have been a secret, he is rather well known for his work on virtual intelligence data. A layman would not understand the critical differences between myself and a VI, nor do I think the average human revolution member would care to make the distinction. Equally likely, it is an effort to throw us off the trail of who's actually done this. Um, but eventually we got knocked out and then we got to talk to Vanek Fairlight. He offered, us to introduce, he offered to introduce us to someone in the Human Revolution. Right. Dr. Fairlight was very kind to point us in the direction of the Human Revolution protest leader. Hopefully we'll be able to get to the bottom of this after interviewing him. Yannick Fairlight? Uh, when'd you run into him? Just oh, earlier uh, today. We were ambushed at the apartment and got hit with some kind of neural stunner. What? Are y'all okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yes, we made it to the nearby hospital and Dr. Fairlight happened to be occupying the same room we were placed in. We had a discussion with him about Hayden's situation, then came here. Well, shit. Things sure are getting more serious than I first thought. Y'all need to keep a sharp eye out. Being attacked means the bastards know you're looking now. I'm confident in our ability to push on. What do you know about Dr. Fairlight, Tomcat? Hmm. I can't say I know much about the man. Fairlight always was a bit of a shut-in. Even back when he ran System 1, his old company. He didn't make any more public appearances after the merger between them and Parallax, but he was still working with them for six or so years past that. Nowadays, he shows up in the news once in a blue moon for some charity thing or another. But, uh, well, it's it's all just rumor, but I've heard he holds a grudge about it hotter than the Clantons after the Earps. I have no idea what either of those are. I'd take care to look this particular horse in the mouth real close if I was you. Well, fair enough. We'll be careful. Good. Now to flatten the moon. While y'all were chasing your tails, I managed to find a way into the Parallax network. As one just casually does. Once I'm in, I should be able to dig out Hayden's personal info file easily enough, including anything related to him on all security clearance levels. Mm. If Parallax is anything on Hayden's situation. Fantastic, Tomcat. I knew Hayden's faith in you was not misplaced. How long do you think it will take you? Well, that's where the rubber meets the road. Yeah. Parallax actually has considerably better net security than the last time I cracked in. I'm gonna need physical access. I've got a good idea where a node for us to slice into is, but it ain't exactly in a nice part of town. In fact, police have basically wrote it off as a lost cause. <laughs> Not enough profit in it. I know Jess has some contacts in that area. She's that girl that chewed you a new rear when y'all first came here. No. Oh. Catco. Yeah, it's a tough sale, but she might be able to help y'all get in and out of that part of the city without ending up in a parts bin at an organ chop shop. Why does she have contacts in that part of town? You might not be able to tell, considering her viper's tongue and penchant for hitting the clubs harder than she's got any right to, but Jess is actually an attorney. Oh. She specializes in defending people in violation of the Human Protection Act and does almost all of her work pro bono. That's, That's kind. a whole gaggle of pals amongst the hybrid community around here, as you might imagine. Ain't no one gonna cross her in that part of town. Black market hybridization ain't exactly HPA compliant, if you catch my drift. And none of them ever know when they might need her to defend them in court. <laughs> mm. 
Wait, wait, the police is privatized in this world? Yeah, God. Hey, we ain't got it that bad. I mean, at least our police force owns its own self. I hear down in San Jose, the richer neighborhoods have actually started hiring the gangs to protect their places. <laughs> when even the rich folks can't get good police work, it's a sad state for everyone else. And the less said about LA, the better. <laughs> LA is a hello. I'll go crawl into a shivy sub. I need a little time to get all my tools together to slice into Parallax's network, but maybe y'all right. get lucky and find my data cache too. But I, I ain't gonna count on it. <sighs> Jess is still hanging around here at Stardust, but I saw her head over to the VIP room. Okay. It's hybrid night, and she's a popular gal. <laughs> Just please remember to play nicer. Her fr I'll send Jess a message letting her know that y'all are looking for some assistance, and we'll see what happens. All right, then. We'll be in touch. Sure thing, huh? I've got to head on out of here and get started on setting up a run. Just have turn. Let me know when y'all are ready. Oh, I see Jess over there. Be Let's go over and say hi. To oh, hell no. <laughs> Look, I'm really trying to have a good time today, and the Human Revolution crud muffins have made that very hard for me. And your interrogation this morning took a bad day to worse. I asked around about you, Jerno, and I don't have anything to say to you. The last thing I need is you prodding at me without telling me your press. Besides, the VIP section is only for hybrids and friends on hybrid night, and no way am I vouching for you. Hey, bouncer! We got a capital A asshole over here! Uh... You heard her. Let's go. Uh How rude. She didn't even give us a chance to explain ourselves. We have that to get back in there and the try to be of an iPhone. Surely she will see the importance of our but that bouncer perhaps we should try befriending someone nearby and can it's a statistical long sh Well, luckily there's a Meshwood legend going on about a mega for whatever this is a huge fan of Luke. I'll carry what you've seen with you. Um, uh, my word? Oh! He seems a bit high and mighty, but... I think I talked to him. Oh, hi! Sorry, I don't really feel like talking. It's been a long day. Maybe I have to have a few drinks in me. Maybe I'll get something a bit bitter. Well, <laughs> hey Gus. Hey there. Hey you. Uh. If you need a break from the music. It uh, okay, then I guess Mike. Hey, good to see you back. Uh, I'd like a drink. What are you One have? that's a bit bitter, please. Oh fuck, I've got a. Go through all of them now, don't I? Much lower. What's in the drink, Chinary? The open out. Oh, I got this, sweetie. W wait, I. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm just holding up the bar rather than running it. No, I just memorized all the drinks. This one is. Gin and elderflower liquor. Up and coming transgressors. Rawr. Thank you. You can hold it. It would be remiss of me not to mention. I know. I, must I, I know. I know. Like what? Uh, what does sound slightly bitter from all of those? Onyx rum. Uh, let me look up how to. Drinkionary. The open alcohol. Oh, I got this. This one is. Middle class stranger and pleasing higher end drum. Rawr. Thank you. You can hold it. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I got something like else. What? Eh. Rusted lace. Uh, let me look up. Drink generi. The open. Oh, I got this. This one is. One pot cinnamon schnapps, one pot coconut rum, add crushed ice on top of a cream, then gun, sure for candy cane. 
Only ordered by awesome people. Thank you. Hold it. It would be remiss of me not. I must advise. I know, I know, I still want it. Here you go. Hey there. No, why can't I just go ask Gus directly what the bitter drink is? Hey, good to see you back. What can I? I feel like the game is is personally attacking that? me right now for not drinking and having no idea what. Uh, what is bitter? Michelada, power play, fluffy Natasha Allegri. Groggy knock. Never, never world Remind sounds bitter, doesn't what's it? In that? Drink scenario, the open oh, I got this. This one is... A black Russian and a whiskey cola in two separate glasses. Together they're said to bring out the demonic spirits within you. Super scary. Thanks, son. You can hold it. I know! It I know! Shut up! I must Shut up, I get it. Yeah, I get like something what? else. I don't fucking know! Something bitter! Uh... Uh... Gut punch. Hey, hon, uh, what's in that one? This one is... Five browns and extract, one flangerite with optional combat. That's that's a that's a that's a Valhalla reference. That's a Valhalla reference. Woo! Valhalla reference. Cyberpunk bartending games represent. I love Valhalla. Have <laughs> a drink that'll pull your hair on your chest. The name actually describes what you feel when you sip it. Bitter, sour, and spicy. Take don't take this one lightly. Okay, that's not a bit Thanks, bitter, so. but it's still bitter. Ah, I love it, it. when indie games are from Chisava. I know, I know, I know, I know, I still want it. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. One gut punch. Alright, lady, you seem like a person of class and see that like you would enjoy something that a certain bartender who is mixing lives and changing drinks could offer you. How did you know what I was planning on ordering? Well, uh, just at least like that, you know. While I drink it. Oh, I'd love to get your company. I'm Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. My name's Ars. It seems like you were alone for a while. I'm usually a lot more sociable. Things have just been rough today. Oh no! Do you want to talk about it? My brother's going through gene therapy. He still has to go in at least twice a week for health and maintenance. Oh man. There are human revolution protesters outside the clinic, making it even harder for him. They're always outside, harassing anyone coming in. That sounds very it's exhausting. rough. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, but, uh, sorry to hear it like that. No one else lives around here, so I'm kind of all he's got. Mm -hmm. But it's not a big deal. He'll be done with the main set of treatments in a few weeks, and we'll be free of them. Let's go. I just feel bad for everyone else they're messing with. I think he's very lucky to have you. Aw, thanks a lot. I'm lucky to have him. So, there's plenty of people here. What made you want to talk with me? I mean... <laughs> I noticed you had an empty glass. Isn't that against the rules yet? <laughs> no one should be that bummed at Stardust and I had this drink, so... Oh jeez. This really is my favorite drink. I have to wake up early for class, but I'm at the club, so I guess I'm already too deep in. <laughs> <laughs> Literally every single college student every day. What are you studying? Graphic design with a focus on advertising. I even get to do some local stuff. Trying not to brag, but the Zone 3 ad on the bar is totally my doing. Ooh, damn. I have some really good client relationships locally, and there's so many interesting people too. Like you. Ah, oh, come on, I haven't even told you anything about myself. Hey, it's been me really nice talking to you, but I kind of feel like dancing now. I you, mean... You want to come with me to the VIP area in the back? If you take me, I'd love to. I have to. some friends who might be over there. We can hang out with them. They'll like you. Sure, let's go. Great, let's go. <laughs> Didn't I say to beat it? I'm a friend. The of Caitlin. She said we could join her. Ugh. All right, but it's on her if you can't stay out of trouble. Uh, hey. 
<laughs> Hello again. Oh, oh, okay. Hope you come by again. Excellent. Sorry for making up the call. I'm eh. still getting used to the whole subterfuge thing, you human. Bro. However, we can take another run at having a conversation with Jess. We have a dragon to slay. Onward. I, I know you didn't have to. Why did you have to pretend that we are? Let me hang with them. And also let me save the game. Uh. Alright. Continue. Yeah, I'm gonna talk with Caitlin and Bro first. This is exactly what I needed to get my mind. Uh, ain't it? Hello, Bro. Are you a friend of I'm Caitlin? Shame to say I've gone on a few assy spike benders in my time. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> hey, hey Jess, like um I know you're like No, oh, just like, oh. <laughs> hey, Jess, and how are you feeling? Yeah, you know it is. You know, as soon as I first saw you, I hoped you'd be dropped like a bad packet off the mesh net, and I'd never have to see you ever again. So, of course, I just got off the phone with Tomcat, practically begging me to help you out. <laughs> you aren't so good at the long term play thing, are you? Yeah, no, no. I let's. I mean, I mean. <laughs> that would that would be the entirely wrong thing to say in this situation. But I've got a safe. So at least, at least I'm not the one coughing up hairballs. <laughs> no, really. Say it again, louder. Let every hybrid in this club know that you get off on mocking them. You assholes are all the same. Let's just get one thing straight here. I'm only willing to talk to you because I owe Tomcat. So if you want my help, you gotta do something. If you got a problem with that, talk. My neighborhood, my... <laughs> okay, okay, maybe <laughs> it, ended up, it ended up just being mean and nothing else. Ahem, let's try again. And you're back. I'm back. You know, as soon as I first saw you. So of course I just go You aren't so good at the long term play. Yeah, I mean I I think we kinda get off to a bad start, you, mean you know. You don't stick both feet in your mouth every time you talk to a hybrid? Surprising. <laughs> I was looking for someone who called themselves cat and you have cat like ears. I am sorry. I don't think that's that racist of me. <laughs> Let's just get one thing straight here. I'm only willing to talk to you because I. Yeah, so that, you you're coming to right, man. You got All right, you all right. Talk. All right. You know what? That sounds completely fair. I need you to break up those human revolution protests, the ones at the Genus Clinic on Market Street. I think I'm heading that way anyway. That sounds I'd perfect. I like this handled with some stealth. Not that I expect you to know what discreet means. Either way, just get it done. I got clients in the middle of treatment cycles, and this media circus is making their lives difficult. I mean, Cyberpunk, like the game, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, has taught me that it is still stealth if you just kill everyone before they're realizing that the people next to them are also dead. So can I do that? I mean, I have a gun now. Just need to get a Sandevison or something. That means it's making my life difficult. Yeah, Let the okay, bastards okay. go march somewhere else. Like Washington. <laughs> oh, why is the game letting me do this? The game shouldn't be letting me do this. <laughs> I mean... I feel like if I help her and I... Uh, is that a slur? That's what, that's, is, is, is what I'm doing being... <laughs> am, I, am I being racist in universe if I say that? I don't want to be. <laughs> is that a slur if I say that? Uh, <laughs> that 
Sounds like a oh, catastrophe. So Cat jokes never get old, ever. <laughs> Comedy frickin' gold. Sorry. Get out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm getting out. I'm getting Break out. up those protests and. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm on, I'm on my way. I'll, I'll get going immediately. <laughs> It sounds like <sighs> let's go to Market Street and break up those pro Sounds like something you again. All right, out. Oh no no, I didn't want to go in, I wanted to I, I wanted to leave. I'm leaving. Alrighty. Market Street. Well, there are the protesters. I have to admit that I still find the vandalism of Hayden's apartment puzzling. <laughs> The protests themselves have been entirely peaceful so far, and the human revolution, regardless of the flimsy philosophical ground they stand on, are not a group known for projecting their ideology through unlawful means. And yet they seem to be doing the just fine. The more I research them, the more I have to admit to the statistical conclusion that we're either dealing with a deceptive covert operation scenario, or less Still, I doubt it will hurt to ask around. Fairlight said he was the one to talk to, and my mesh searches confirm that he is the leader of the local ch He's a bit player on the national scene, but he seems charismatic and camera conscious from the video clips I've reviewed. Hmm. Perhaps we could use that to our advantage? Hass. Ah, Hassy. Never mind. Hassy. Oh, I want to hear it again. Dinos. Protoser, 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 police from. Hello. I am here to... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I am here to protest the main peace from. Are you sick of losing job opportunities to people willing to sacrifice humanity for a chance at a quick buck? <laughs> Aren't you tired of being told by the media that you aren't good enough as a regular human? Technology is a gift, but a powerful and dangerous one to be used with care. We as a species have forgotten that. Aren't you tired of being told if you undergo some elective gene therapy or cybernetic enhancement you'd be better than humans instead of less than one? Come, support us in our efforts to put the brakes on the runaway march of progress before it's too late for humanity. Mutant genes keep it clean. These slogans are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the proto. Oh my god, he looks so fun. Animate older man. Let's go for this. Is. You shouldn't find that at him, even if you disagree with his politics. <laughs> Aww. There. Would you like to hear about the dangers of our country's unchecked use of genetic modification? I have pamphlets here. Uh, thanks. <clears throat> uh, I guess what the game was supposed to go to. I'm actually currently writing a story on the protest. Can we speak on the record? Um, the press hasn't been so kind to us lately. They try to feign neutrality, but just look at the way we get covered. It's disgraceful. Yeah, that's how, how the mainstream press no always matter. is, isn't it? I'll show good faith that you are after what all of us here are after. The truth. We in the human revolution just want people to really think about the technology and bodily enhancements they use every day and decide if they're actually better off. What questions can I answer? Could you tell me what are the ultimate goals of the human revolution? We hope to educate the public about the dangers of rapid technological advancements. We want to warn the country away from thoughtlessly accepting every scientific discovery we make. We used to say that splitting the atom would surely bring about the end of humankind. Yeah. But now we're changing the very things that make us human. Our biology. With nothing to ensure our safety. But I guess splitting the atom hasn't ended up destroying all of humankind so doesn't that kind of work against the your very point we're after is humanity as a whole making the decision mm -hmm. to remain as we were created and return to how we lived before genetics this world is icarus 
flying too close to the sun. It's only a matter of time before our arrogance becomes our demise. Just because we can doesn't mean we should. I see. How do you plan on enacting the social change that you want? At our core, we are a peaceful movement and seek only to convince people to vote according to the truths we reveal to them. Mm -hmm. The human revolution has faith that American democracy will <laughs> win out in the end. Yeah, it American falls democracy. to us to make sure that people are informed about the daunting and confusing technologies they put their senseless faith into every day. On a personal level, we would like to exhort every individual to try and live more simply and reject any gadget or medicine that would make us less than we are. I see. But all of that, how do you plan to, you know, get those... Uh, how, do you, how do you plan to achieve those goals by protesting in front of a clinic? Genetic modification is one of the most dangerous sciences we've ever fooled around with. It's playing God on the highest order and threatens to unseat what humanity is altogether. Cybernetics is a dangerous path as well, selling off pieces of ourselves bit by bit for mechanical strength and resilience. But at least a brain-controlled android is still a human brain, even if in a metal box. There is a reason Congress enacted laws prohibiting highly modified hybrids from breeding. Breeding. Like animals do. That's a bit dehumanizing, isn't it? Now, that rhetoric you're using. The individuals who come here for treatment, many of whom are disabled and deaf. If you ask me, genus isn't the kind of therapy they all need. What do they However, need? We must take a stand against the medical research industry that would have us cast aside. We have reports of a break in at the home of a parallax researcher with human revolution graffiti at the scene. You have any comments on that? Ah, well, the human revolution certainly does not condone such actions at all. And yet they happen. We're a peaceful organization, and threatening people is not going to earn us hearts and minds. And yet that's what happened, isn't it? But, off the record, some of our younger members can be a bit overzealous, as any hot-headed teenager tends to be. I'll look into this matter personally, and if I discover that any of our younger members were involved, they'll be turned into the proper authorities. Now, not to cut this too short, but I need to get back to my people. I hope I've answered. You hmm. clearly missed doing real journalism. I'm impressed. <laughs> I think you're starting to get back into the hard-boiled investigation. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get lucky enough to turn up a new lead, even if this one didn't pan out like we'd hoped. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, sending a drawing isn't going to find him. Fair enough, if indelicately put. <laughs> and don't forget, we're still here to actually break up these protests. Make sure to look around and think carefully. Weather arm, hello. Interesting. A RSU climate control ROM. Apparently, it is owned by the Hassy Bar. Oh, she's looking cute. Hello. Aww, that is the most adorable little ROM. Yes, he is, isn't he? What kind of model is it? Where did you get it? I think he can introduce it's himself. So moe. Yeah, right. <laughs> They're a custom model. Oh wow. You don't see a whole lot of those around. Yeah. Must have taken ages to get that case looking that good. With the home printer too. I'm impressed. Anyway, what can I get you? Hmm, I think a drink will do and maybe some information. A drink I can do. And I guess I have some time to talk. The protesters outside the clinic are driving off a lot of my regular customers. Oh no. Filling up my bathroom too! Jerks! <laughs> you don't have a policy where so, we have to order a drink if I want to use the bathroom? Ah, just send me a bit of yourself first. Oh, I never introduced myself, did I? I'm Ramona. Nice to meet you, Ramona. I guess there isn't much to tell. Oh, I'm sure I there is. College, got a degree, took out a loan and bought this place. Now I spend my days trying to find enough time and money to sustain my VR drama addiction. <laughs> my
my priorities are justice, cute stuff, and magical girls. In that order. That seems like what those else? three are overlapping in a lot of ways. I pretty much don't leave the store. <laughs> you don't seem very pleased about the human Look, revolution outside. They've got the right to protest. But I don't have to like it. Once they're done with the hybrids, I know they'll be coming for me next. What are you so doing? I'll be voting appropriately. <laughs> and if I have to unclog one more toilet because I'm an entitled bigoted jerk face, I will lose my goddamn mind. But why would we come after oh, you? You can't tell? I've got a cybernetic arm and leg, thanks to an auto cap crash when I was a kid. Oh. I also got neural links for VR interfacing. If it was up to those dinosaurs, I'd be stuck in a wheelchair right now. Or worse, depending on how far back they want to push our medical technology. Mm -hmm. It's already illegal for me to have a rocket power fist. <laughs> what more do they want? Have you thought about a fist where you hide a cool looking katana inside so that you press a button and then it just shoots out and you're suddenly a ninja? Is that your, is that your climate control room on the it outside of the store? Job, huh? Yeah. That's mine. Well, technically, mm, mm. it's property of Hassy Holdings. But that's also yours, aren't some they? some mints on it, but the rest of the block helps pitch in for maintenance costs since I usually set it to patrol the whole area. Ah, I see. You should check it out when we do Christmas in July. I see potential here to get those protesters wet and leaving. It can cover the whole street in snow, as long as it's cloudy enough to keep the sun off. Would you mind if I take it for a spin? Sorry, but that thing cost me way too many credits to let just anyone poke at it. I would need to see some serious credentials before I let you mess with it. You know, enough to make sure you can afford to replace it if you break <laughs> it. Otherwise... I've got just the thing. And by the way, uh, you called Turing Moe? Sorry. Speak. Oh no, no, it's perfectly I fine. Speak, I think. Really yes, and right. I don't hug him forever, you know. A lot of otaku come around here, probably because I own the place. I'm used to being able to shoot my mouth off and not explain all the jargon. Wait, is that? I just realized. Is is that the? Yeah, I do speak English. Hello, salt four three two one six. Is, is that a, a Sengoku from Monogatari in the background? How cool! Do you not hear me properly? Am I too silent for you? I'm still having a bit of trouble mixing my audio correctly. But I uh, decided that I didn't want to bother with it too much anymore. I just wanted to stream this game right now. Otaku, as in Japanese cartoons? Yeah, I know it's a bit out of fashion, but I'm a history buff. Mm -hmm. The past really gives context to stories of the present. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, totally. I've been to Tokyo twice already. Ooh, I only was once. The old otaku resist the new culture of the Saishi in the same way their parents refused to give up cassette tapes. The what? Oh, sorry. The Saiba Shibito. Ah, yeah, that seems like something reasonable. In the early 21st century, Japan had an epidemic of chronic shut-ins, and the rise of direct link virtual reality only made that worse. Mm, Suddenly, mm. people weren't just refusing to leave their rooms, they were refusing to leave their heads. Oh, basically, super hikikimoris. But as the technology got better, the Saishi were the first to figure out how to use their own brains to sculpt cyberspace. Computers are good at thinking in straight lines, but the human brain is capable of so much more. The best virtual landscapes, the most real VR dramas and games, are created by the Saishi. Now, even if an earthquake or a meteor or whatever leveled Japan, they still have Neo Tokyo built on the VR net. But enough babbling. If you're interested, I'm sure you could find more out on the mesh or use an induction helmet to visit Neo Tokyo yourself. It's a trip, especially for newbies. Mm -hmm. Thanks, I think that's everything. Okay, enjoy your drink. I will. It's a poster for Magical Commander Yukino. Ah, Magical Girl VR Drama. I see. What do we have here? We have Duck Game. Began as a traditional video game, but has recently become a popular VR spot. All the kids are quacking about it. 
a business drama called Tomorrow's Tears. And hidden behind the Christmas tree, we got a future documentary exploring the queer side of virtual reality. This is the most picturesque Christmas tree imaginable. All right, um, Ramona, I have something for you. Doctor Yannick Fairlight. I've heard of him. Super rich guy. Used to own System One. Yep. Why are you giving me his card? Because I work for him. And he's looking to buy a climate control room like yours. Yes. He's getting on in years, and it would be useful for when he goes out and about. That's why we wanted to see it before. Uh, but I would need a close look at it to make sure it'll suit his purposes, you know? Uh, yeah, okay. I guess you can take it. Here. Thank you. Don't bust it, though. I scanned this card, and I swear if you break my ROM, I'll be calling your boss. Yeah, yeah, please do. Here's the RFID key. Thank you. This will surely be useful for our need. Shall we go check it? Momentarily. This ROM serves up the Hassie. Sassy. Sassy. I really do like a good sassy assy. Assy heart is also great. <laughs> it may be nice outside, but it's always hard to leave a assy bar. Especially because this is a window, not a door. Wait. When, then where is the fucking door? <laughs> okay. Now then. Hmm. Where's the key? I don't have a key. I can probably just touch it directly. This ROM has multiple different climate. Maybe we could make things a little more oh, fast. Should I switch it to? Yes, turn this baby on. It's snowing. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, people. I for one didn't bring any winter wear. Let's call it a day for now. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> Snow mode deactivated. Excellent work. While I still have doubts about the moral superiority of using subterfuge to disperse a protest, we at least... And to be frank, considering how the human revolution is clearly working against my personal interests, I won't waste many clock cycles puzzling that ethical quandary. Hmm. Might I draw your attention to those youths over yonder? <laughs> Counterculture clothing, <laughs> youths over yonder. bad attitudes, and graffiti paraphernalia. Those could be our suspects who damaged my... Uh, okay, maybe let's talk to them. Right. We should approach them cautiously as to not... They may even point us to the truth. Oh no, they've noticed our attentions. We'll never catch them on foot. Hold on, I'm calling for an auto cab. I know it seems a great deal of trouble for such a tenuous. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. Ah, the auto cab is estimated to take. We'll never be able to engage in pursuit fastest. Perhaps we should call Tomcat. Maybe they can do some bit of techno. Okay, we'll ring them up. Excellent. Time to do some hacking. Hold on while I connect us. Howdy, folks. Howdy. How's the search for the data cache go? Actually, that's what we're calling. We may have located the perfect. We attempted to use a cab of our own to tail. Can you hack the cab? No can do, little guy. Security on those cabs is tight. And the dang thing will... Unless... Oh, I have an idea. Sit tight. Right. typing. I, I did a job a few years back and had to break into the city's central traffic network. Do me a favor. I won't. The back door I drilled into that long ago is still wide open. Wait. It may not have fixed that back door, but they did install a new counter-intrusion VI. Oh, the damn thing is hot on my tail. Uh, what? Virtual intelligence. They, oh. They're kind of like Turing, except less creative and inventive, and definitely not sapient. But they're nasty enough at hunting down hackers and crackers. If you're, I gotta take care of this VI. I'm gonna need the two of you to handle the traffic system. 
Hold tight. I'm gonna be doing some two sets of hands on one keyboard kind of hacking. Just push on the map and loading up on Turin's face. Uh. They're on the move. Uh, 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 uh what am I supposed to do? Use your display map to keep uh -huh. their cab. Okay. Back to you. Okay. You trigger traffic nodes at intersections so the cab thinks the streets are blocked off. Do it right, and you should be able to steer them right. You just gotta make sure to stop them where you're at, or else they'll just go running off on foot. I'll put a goal marker on the map for you. You can trigger any node on the map at any time. I'd say you'll have time for two moves every time they hit an intersection. If they go off the map, though, you'll lose them. Block every road that leads out of our grid, and watch the places with three exits you can't all cover in one go-around. Okay... Just hurry. I don't know... I'll tap into the cab. Our top priority is to ensure they cannot... I'll mark the southern exit as... Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Let me do it. Yes, 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 I know, I know. We shouldn't block the route back here. We have to stop them where we can... Once you get them back here, be careful. If you stop their ride anywhere else, they'll... What do you think our next... Why can I click? Turn, I can't have you talking. It's messing with. It's up to you now. Don't let those punks. Assist. We can access any of the. Con got it? I know. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Let me do it. Okay, we block off two over here. We block this one off. This one's already blocked off. So once they get here, got two here. Then we got one here once they get there. Oh, oh, you know, I can just go like this. I don't need to think that much that far ahead. We can get here over here and go pew and pew. And they can't leave if they go there, so now we can just go here again and go pew and pew. Damn, I'm a genius. Oh shit, I opened it again. That's not what I wanted to do. Creators. <laughs> oh man, he's angry. Who do you think you're messing with, huh? Well, that's with you too. Nothing on us, and if you don't get out of my way, I'll mess you up. <laughs> yeah, you want to try? Hey, what do you think we should? We haven't observed them doing anything illegal, and we could potentially, or we could share news of this encounter with Lexi. These two seem agitated already, and it may be best to make sure. Those are the options I deduce. It's up to you. 
Ah, we didn't do anything illegal yet. Did you not hear what I... Maybe we should just answer their questions. I mean, we didn't do anything wrong, right? Um, right! We ain't got nothing to hide. That's great. Um, can we ask you what the spray paint is for? We're newbie street artists. Mm-hmm. These are the tools of our trade. Yeah, I see, I see. These are all above board and legal. We just got done making a piece for a client. That's right. We're artists. Could we ask you what else is in the bag? Something like that. If you wait, we ain't got nothing in the bag. And why'd you run? Running? Who was I running from? You calling me a coward? Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's what they were insinuating. Oh no, that is what it was insinuating. Right. We just got places to get to, and gotta go fast. You're holding us up. I can't use items. Enough! Stop assuming you can misdirect us with bluster. I've matched the hues of those paints and the patterns of the bottom of your shoes with 95% accuracy to the scene of Hayden Weber's apartment. Dum dum dum. What you were doing there and why you stole Hayden's data cache. Now you're accusing us of stealing? Why I ought... Chad, I think they're all... <laughs> Chad, he's called Chad. So they don't go to the car. He's literally Chad, oh my god. Damn it, Oliver! I told you I'm Starfucker now! I only went along with this because he said we would go to a movie afterwards. I don't even care about this human revolution stuff. Just because you're dad. Don't talk about my dad. Fine. Whatever. Why take Caden's apartment? Oh man, no big reason. I mean, he's a big hotshot researcher at Parallax, right? We heard a rumor his place was empty. Who's gonna pass a- We don't need any more of this tech shit. Like your lippy Rom over there. Oh, he ain't lippy. <laughs> he's beautiful. Oh, you know what I'm thinking about his kidnapping? Yeah, he was kidnapped. Yeah, that's why the apartment is empty. Shit, we ain't got nothing to do with that. Ah, you sure, because- the controls and trash the place. Wasn't nobody there. Why do you take the data cache? I told you we didn't steal nothing. Be quiet, Chad. I don't want to go to Juvie. <laughs> if you can have it if you want. You can have it. Okay, well, thanks for giving it back. Hmm. <clears throat> you two should stay out of trouble. Yeah, you can whatever. be good kids. Just get out of my way. We hope you find that Hayden guy. And we're real sorry. We weren't trying to hurt anyone. It's all right. He didn't hurt anyone. All right. Let's go catch that movie. Great. Can we get dinner first? Sure. Whatever you want. Oh, uh, that's so cute. Uh, 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 that's not right. I'm certain I deactivated snow mode. Incoming call from Tomcat. Welcome back. Hey, yo. Jess just called and told me she has a clear way to the access node. Let's go. She'll get you inside, and I'll walk you through connecting me so I can access the parallax network. That should help our hunt. Did you get the data cache? Yes, we got it. Oh, great. We don't have time to worry about it right now, though. Go to Stardust and drop it off with Majid for me, okay? He'll hold it to pass. I managed to trigger an alert within Parallax's network security, and they're going to be moving their logs. I need y'all in place of that access node before they do. No problem. No time for lordy gagging. We'll make our way there directly after we return to. We can worry about the weather. Rock. Let's go. Our mission. All right. And I think that's a very good point to be saving the game. Yes, please save. Uh, we go 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 the catch done okay and I think that's also a great time to be ending stream for today we did have some technical difficulties I think I would like to work on the sound mixing a bit 
Um, I will, however, probably come back in like half an hour and play some League of Legends. All right. Oh, I don't even think I have to end stream. Can I? Can it change? I, I can't. I can change the things. Ooh, I can. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna go take a little idle break. Um. Be back in a few minutes. And I think I'm gonna change the stream to be playing some League of Legends. Um, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Oh, 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 why is Wallpaper Engine making sounds again? Uh, 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 volume mixer... Shut up, shut up, okay. <clears throat> Alright, and we also want to change the... Stream description... I have to ask 
ask myself is why isn't it showing my launcher? of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, aha, that seems to be working. All right, in that case, we exit this game. Goodbye. We finish this game capture and we start this. Oh no, that's the wrong one. And we start this one. Or oh, we don't. No, we start this one. Aha! And just get it a bit better on the screen. All right. Ah. And then out of you, da da, you go here like this. Aha! Finally, we got it. All right, and then we can give us a little draft picky. Mid lane and top. New stuff. Let's just find a match. Right. Hey, hey, all right. Got some chill background music. Something's not working on my Spotify. Yes, yes, this computer, but it's not using the right sound channel. Ah, 
sort of... It's a bit confusing, sort of looks mid. Ah, fuck it. We ball. We ball! Other sound option. App volume and uh, da 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 related settings microphone. Turning on, setting up a microphone, troubleshooting audio problems. Ah, oh, there's nothing here to do. Other sound option. It doesn't exist. Okay, well. Game capture, please capture. And then open volume mixer. Why the hell is wallpaper engine making sounds when it isn't supposed to? All right. Be untiltable. We can certainly try to do that. Oh, they got the soul fighter looks gonna really want to have it. the screen go dark. I do that now, I don't want that. Okay. Are the new items out? Mm, yes, more or less they are. Sick. And Dorans got buffed, so we're gonna just enjoy the new Dorans.
Let's maybe just for once use the League of Legends music. By the way, I never played against Diana. I've got no idea what she can do. So I will probably just end up getting killed by some insane combo I've never seen before. No! I'm farming so badly. This is really bad. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. She did something. I have no idea what she did, but it did a lot of damage. Alright, let's see me get back in there. Let's go. I haven't actually looked at all the new items, by the way. So I've got no idea what they will be doing. But I've seen some pretty interesting stuff already.
be really out of mana. It's not good. Oh, what's Callisto planning? Oh, that is what it's supposed to mean. All oh, right, there's new jungle enemies too. Oh, come on, as if she still hit me with that. Alright, time to head home and figure out what I want to buy. You don't have basically any enemies to burn for a second in combat with enemy champions due to bonus damage up to 6%. Dear god, oh dear god, there are so many things in here. Life from death. I think she's out for blood right now. Set the bar. 
find me a new job. What is, what is Swain up to? Why has Swain decided then? Alright, got 111 stacks at 12 minutes and 11 seconds. That's not super good, but also not super bad. And now what the hell do I want to build? I guess I'm just gonna build Leandris for now. I don't really have any idea what I'm doing. Wait, I have so little mana. Why do you have so little mana? Wait, she's level six. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I, I just got outplayed. She was just better than me. Fair, fair. Shoes are still normal. Shoes are still as we know them, alright. Now, what do we have here? If your ultimate burns the ground beneath them, dealing magic damage. Oh, that seems interesting. Crypto Bloom. Magic penetration when you get attacked on enemy champion. Okay, Storm Surge. Dealing. Apply Squall to him and grants. That seems really interesting, actually. It's not a comeback if one was never truly gone. I think I'm gonna try build that. Shut down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> they all ran. They all ran. They all just packed up their backs and ran and left me alone. The Joshua Void, your attacks apply a true damage shot effect to structures. Increase by each stack of the Joshua Void. That five stacks use to summon a void map when you attack structures. Okay. Where the fuck did I get that one from? Okay, I guess if Callista wants to have what? Oh, wait, why didn't I fly? Fuck. Alright, very clean. Why are we fighting so much in this game? I feel like this is <laughs> suddenly turned into uh, an eSport level game. We've got 30 kills, more than 30 kills on the board before 20 minutes are over. Uh, 
Also, my tower is almost gone. Thank God she misfiddled. Dear God. <laughs> Where's so many minions? God damn it. Okay. Storm Surge. That magic penetration. Movement speed. Burst when I'm bursting. I get Squall, which gives me movement speed. Which could be very fun to then chase down people, I think. But I don't know. I have no idea, to be honest, about anything. Baron is in 50 seconds. I guess I'm gonna try and work towards that. Well, my team seems, seems to just be enjoying uh, ramming it. So why have I stopped moving? I'm ramming it down mid. He's here, so I don't have to feel around. That's three people. Okay. Are we enough? Is the question. I don't want to engage the Diana if I don't know where all the other people went. Damn, Master Yi is enjoying his Master Yi therapy. Mid. And I'm gonna be brave. Not greedy, brave. And take this next wave. Oh. 
Oh, no, no, no. Where is he coming from? Sorry, Swain. Got to head out. Can I... No, oh, no, no, I can't. I definitely can't. I just gotta go. Okay, what will we build next? Ah, oh, Rabadon has been changed a bit. I mean, why not? Why not? Let's just... When in doubt, go Rabadon. It's always one of the first things I learned in this game. I'm scaling, bitches. <laughs> you call yourself a dragon? Ooh, the map, cha map changed down here too. Ah, shit, shit, yeah. Yeah, she just played it better than I did. She just played it better than I did in every single way. Yikes. Oh, it's just damaging them. That also seems really interesting.
I hate auto puffing. low elo gameplay we could i think we could have finished this game like three times over maybe but it's just not happening Aww, we're already already surrendering. All right. Guess then we might as well just finish it here. That worked pretty well. Thank you all for coming today, and um, see you for the next stream. Bye bye.